my name is uh, Moimir Mrak. Uh, I am a senior policy advisor at CEF, uh, so I am assisting the Center of Excellence in Finance on this, uh, I would say, projects policy side. Uh, otherwise, I, I teach uh, international finance and economic policies in Ljubljana and also a little bit here in Vienna. Uh, I will present you briefly. I am a little bit, uh, uh, you know, now we see that the audience has gone down quite, uh, I would say, dramatically, but still to those one most interested uh, to try to give you a short presentation of the center. Uh, first thing, uh, I will present you a brief film about the center, very brief one, then a few basic facts, who we are, what we are doing. And then, of course, uh, because the subject was the public administration reforms, uh, we also wanted to see, to show you one of the specific projects, what we are doing on one, on one of the segments, so that you will see that we are pretty much uh, uh, integrated in what we are talking, we are to what we are talking here. Well, thank you very much. This was just, you know, brief. Uh, I will try to give you now a little bit more detailed explanation of uh, who we are, what we are doing, and uh, how we are doing, uh, because I think that's important. Uh, Center of Excellence in Finance was established in 2001, so we are 15 years old institution. But in these 15 years, uh, quite a bit of uh, development has been done. We started as a purely, I would say, Slovenian institution trying to support uh, the public finance reforms in the region that was done at that time under the kind of the umbrella of the Growth and uh, Pact, uh, Pact for the Southeastern Europe. Uh, as you see, there are now a few activities, uh, very limited stuff. Uh, if you look uh, today, uh, the institution has been transformed from a purely, let's say, Slovenian institution to the full-fledged uh, now international organization, having now uh, seven members. So we have now 
let's say, uh, uh, members from seven countries of the region, and there are some others where the process is in the, in the pipeline for the, for the ratification. Uh, the main objective is the same as it was, or similar as it was, support capacity development for finance officials in South Eastern Europe through learning. So we had discussed quite a lot uh, before having on the technical assistance, on the research. The focus uh, of CF is on uh, learning. You will see what kind of activities uh, we have. Um, we have different kind of uh, courses, some of them also certification courses, so basically the people get uh, get kind of degrees uh, on the, in the area of auditing, in the area of uh, some other, some other, of course, everything, financial areas. There are seminars, e-learnings, so very, I would say, on the learning side, we have really tried to make a significant uh, uh, difference than it was. Uh, also, with uh, already now quite a substantial staff from it's an international staff because we are now becoming, not becoming, we are now an international organization. And the organization is basically, the governance of the organization is, I would say, three elements I would mention here. One is the governing board, and this governing board is basically established by the ministers of finance and governors of central banks of the member states. And then, of course, also uh, we have then cooperation with, uh, with uh, those countries which are in the pipeline to, to become members. Uh, here you have also which countries are members uh, already. Uh, they are at least two of them for which we expect to become member very soon because the processes are in the final stage. But this does not mean that the cooperation is limited to these countries. So we do have also cooperation and also uh, very active cooperation with some countries here in the neighboring, in the neighboring area. So just you know, a few words about this is a governance board. You see this is what I mentioned. Now the governance board is led by the, by the uh, Minister of Finance from Bulgaria from last, from last week because we just had the last meeting. Uh, staff of the center is already gone up for two, from three to 25, so it's a quite a substantial staff. We also host uh, uh, several uh, IMF uh, staff members who then work in the region, particularly on the public finance, public finance area taxation. Uh, and uh, the third institution, the third framework here is, uh, of course, the advisory board. So these are, you have kind of an overview of the institutions which participated in the last advisory board. This can also give you a sense of who are our partners in terms of financing, uh, financing uh, the, the programs, the activities. Uh, the center is uh, located uh, in Ljubljana from the beginning and uh, of course it also has a permanent contact with all the, well, the members. Focus, Central and Eastern Europe. And then of course you have here a brief overview of the countries, how they participated. Uh, participation from all the countries, and also the moderators, lecturers, facilitators comes from, from all over. What we would like basically to underline is that this, uh, you know, knowledge hub of the character of the center, but in this area of finances, public finances, and what was added over the last few years is uh, there was a strong interest also on the central banks to join this program, so that's why I said that we have in the governing board not only ministers of finance, which was the practice before, but we have now also the governors of central banks. Uh, three thematic focus, three, three focuses uh, uh, in terms of um, uh, thematic. One is the public finance management. I think I don't have to go back what we were talking uh, in the morning. Uh, I think it's very clear uh, this relationship with the topic of the conference, public administration reforms. Uh, if you remember, public finance management was one of them. But I must underline, public finance management is subject of our work from the early beginning. Uh, so we are happy in a way that this is becoming part of uh, broadly recognized uh, recognized issue. Uh, we have here all these issues related to the, to the budget preparation, uh, uh, not, not just annual budget, but medium-term medium fiscal programming. Then you have the second area, 
which is the tax policy and administration. Yeah, of course, somebody can also say that this is one part of the public uh, financial management, but we treat it as a separate thematic topic. And then, as I said, we added up a few years ago the central banking pillar. When we talk about the central banking, I think it's more or less the issues which have come out after the crisis related to the financial stability issues uh, and these kind of things are now very much under the focus of, of this. So these are the three thematic topics and then we have a kind of across the board leadership program because it has become clear that when we talk about the reforms very much is how the reforms are done and I think what we heard today has been uh, very broadly, broadly, broadly introduced. Uh, I said that we are basically the learning institution, the institution to provide uh, uh, learning, uh, I would not say solutions, but basically a platform through different kind of learning possibilities. Uh, we have on the one side uh, so-called structural learning, which is basically the issues for the, for the degrees. Uh, we run, I think, programs in uh, at least three countries. Uh, it's in Macedonia, in Montenegro, uh, in Slovenia, and there I know that someone is, uh, one is also star is starting in, in Albania. Uh, then you have the, I would say, classical type of the export-based uh, learning on the basis uh, of the seminars, uh, experts' uh, visits, and so on. Uh, what is an increasingly, um, no, not just popular, increasing in the demand is the e-learning uh, initiatives. Uh, we have just finished one initiative of this kind with a lot of success, so it's clear that there is a demand for these new, new forms of uh, learning opportunities. Uh, I will just make here the, who are the partners are, you know, just as a graphical, you see a number of uh, bilateral development institutions, uh, a number of course international from the IMF, OECD, European Central Bank, so these are the partners which are in various forms involved in this our, our our activity. So that's are the, more or less the, the institutions we, we work. And this is the overview of what we have done just last year, just to have a sense. Uh, those one who are more interested, you have quite a number of publications uh, which are outside from the annual reports uh, to the review of the main features of the center in general, so you can get it. And as you see, uh, they are basically, again, the public finance management issues, the taxation issues, and uh, uh, this last column, then we have the certification certification uh, program. Uh, you can contact us on these uh, on these uh, uh, addresses. Uh, we are also two colleagues of uh, mine are here. So if uh, there are some some need for further information, we would be very glad uh, to 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 provide. Uh, just briefly about one of the projects which I mentioned, which uh, somehow fits to this uh, activity, what is the subject of today. Uh, it's a project which we have completed. It's a project, yeah, it's a project of activities. It was a program on strategic planning and budgeting. So it was basically a program which was done in cooperation with, uh, and with the financing of the European Commission through the multi-beneficiary multi, uh, uh, EPA. Uh, it is, of course, part of this public finance management, uh, and I think one of the big advantages of this program was that it was, uh, the, it, it, at least in our case, it was a platform where we can really introduce, in addition to the financial people from the ministries of finance, uh, very much also the financial people from the line ministries. And you cannot imagine, you know, how a uh, big uh, gap is very often when you start discussing the programming, when you start discussing the, the strategic uh, planning uh, among these, uh, these uh, two, two groups. Uh, well, yeah, of course, why this project was done? I think it was done more or less in the context of this crisis. Uh, I remember when we started with it, uh, it was... Uh, basically the need that the countries is have to uh, go much more precisely, much more uh, straightforwardly into the, into the uh, macro fiscal consolidation on one side and on the other side 
into structural reforms. Uh, when I talk about the structural reforms, I am always confused because I don't know precisely what we are talking about. Because if you look at the terminology, the definition of structural reforms, you will not find one. For me, I would say structural reforms are all those reforms which contribute to higher uh, economic growth. And of course, uh, this management is uh, one of them. Um, it was designed in the context with the, with the Commission, with the IMF, and of course, primarily with the, with the, with the, governing, with the governing board. Three objectives, four objectives, I would say three plus one. One was, of course, this strengthening the medium-term macroeconomic framework. I'm not saying that this uh, is a new thing. There is, was a lot has been done on this already before, and this part has been done also within this project with a strong cooperation with the IMF. Uh, and uh, also on this first and second issue, also the Vienna uh, International Center, the Vienna, the Joint Vienna, uh, uh, sorry, something to put it here, the Joint Vienna Institute was, uh, was uh, continuously a partner. Um, the beneficiaries, candidate countries, uh, because that was, uh, and I'm talking about the candidate, I'm talking about the candidates and potential candidate countries. Uh, while as institutions, as I mentioned already, not only ministries of finance, but also the institutions at the lower level, uh, uh, and of course the line ministries. Uh, so that's basically that you had this uh, exchange of views, uh, and I think this uh, integration of uh, line ministries into the fiscal programming, into the planning, will also in future be one of the important elements for our further, further work. Here we have some other uh, uh, data about the projects. Uh, here you have, I think, what is interesting on the left, you see these major, uh, major, major features of the program, how they were, how they were uh, identified, so the issues of capital budgeting, program budgeting, then evaluation of spending reviews, uh, and these are the events, uh, a lot of events was, there was 25 uh, different kind of the workshop uh, uh, with more than 400 uh, participants and, uh, as I said, with the people from the region and outside uh, the region. What is interesting is, based on this project, there is quite a number of new projects which are being, through different ways, either suggested, and some of them are already ongoing. One is in cooperation with the IMF, and uh, based on EU funding, is the strengthening economic governance in public financial management. And there are some in preparation. So uh, it's obvious that this is an area which the center will continue to work uh, because of the beneficiaries beneficiaries' uh, requests. Uh, so that's from my side. Uh, I'm leaving now the floor to the colleague for the other institution.